Welcome back to Shooting Blanks Entertainment Presents, the Commentators Podcast. I'm Kramer. <laughs> I'm uh, Tom sometimes. I'm Ryan. I'm Vernon. I'm Juan. And today we are talking Doctor Strange. Mm. Okay, I was, over, I was like, what's the music for that? But everybody, do we, not spoilers first or spoilers? Not spoilers. Spoilers. Not spoilers. Spoilers. What? Okay. Why does it matter? Because nobody's going to listen to the first two minutes of a podcast because there's no spoilers. And they just <laughs> <That's stop. a laughs> good point. All right, spoiler alert. We're a week late anyway. People have seen it. That's Everyone funny. dies. <laughs> Overall impressions. Awesome. We are a week late, aren't good. we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Quite. True. I just realized, like, I went to go see it on yesterday, yesterday. Like, in the morning. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> on yesterday in the morning, thinking, <clears throat> "Man, it's opening weekend. It's gonna be hella packed." And I went in there. <laughs> there was nobody in there, and I was yeah. like, "This is weird. That's cool." Everyone, right, wanted, everyone went to go see Arrival. Uh, Arrival, oh, the new, a, the it, new Alien movie. That looked cool. I'd watch it. I didn't even know that was. Right. It was yeah, okay. It's getting a lot of good reviews. Hmm. I feel there's a lot less hype for this one. Like it's supposed to like any of like the the. I guess flagships that they have now, like Iron Man, Captain America. There's like a it, lot of promotion. Still making money though. Doctor yeah. Strange, I don't think is one of the more prominent popular characters. So it was kind of a a crapshoot for them to do this movie at it's all. Another Ant Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they were just like, uh, that's why they, you know, probably cast such a high profile yeah. actor. That's true. That makes <laughs> a good point because I think for the, not nah, everyone else was kind of like already well known. Same with Ant Man when they were like Paul Rudd. Yes. People will watch yeah. this because he's in it. That's the only reason I want to go watch it. <laughs> That's the main reason I was excited about it. I would have watched it anyway. I, movie. But I would have yeah. watched it anyway, but Paul Rudd was like an act, extra. Yeah, added thing exactly. To it. Yeah. And Benedict did great. Hey, I got to say, oh, yeah. this was one of my like favorite ones now. Yeah, I liked yeah, it. Like, I put it in uh, one of the top origin movies. Yeah. And, and uh, I liked it. Uh, man, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> what's her, what's the girl from The name? Notebook? Nope. Rachel McAdams. No. <laughs> Oh. Um, till this one, till this one. Oh yeah, yeah. She was <clears throat> fucking awesome. She was good. I liked it. I liked yeah. it a lot. I think I went in with a lot of like, I wonder how things are gonna be, and I was very like impressed. Mm-hmm. Oh, all the actors did a great job. Yeah, we can do the cast first. Mordo, Mordo, Mordo Baron. Mordo. I'm gonna go into the, the 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 subject that was a little touchy with people straight off the bat. What did you guys think of the casting for the Ancient One? It worked for me. You, yeah, I thought she was it. I mean, yeah, it, work, it works in the movie, but I mean, it's not what was the source material. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. like, for me, it seemed it's a, a little. A, I wasn't offended by one eighty, but it seemed a little less believable to me in the movie. Why? I guess because they, he went to Tibet, and I think at one point they they talked about how like she's Celtic. Yeah, they did say that. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, why would not her thing be in Ireland as opposed to Tibet? Well, because they also do say that there's been thousands of ancient ones before. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if they use the word thousands, but there's been a lot mm-hmm. before her. Yeah. And uh, I was also thinking too the same thing. Like it was very, it was very like ethnic when at their place because everyone comes from different places to there. Yeah. That's a very good so point. So at some yeah. point she came there, yeah, and now she's the ancient one. I felt yeah. like they, they 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 jabbed at it when they were like, when he first walked in and he was like, oh, this guy must be the ancient one. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he looked like what the ancient one looked like in the comics. Yeah, which was. <laughs> Which is, and then it's like, yeah. you're racist. Ha-ha. He, was there, he was there to do one demonstration without a hand. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that's it. I mean, at least it, he wasn't just the guy that walked away and you never saw him again. That's true. Mm. He came back to be like, in your face. But it's funny because it felt like a jab at all the social justice warriors. They're like, fuck you guys. We'll cast whoever we want. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I thought she did. But she, yeah, she did do a good job. job. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, she's great. I like her in those divine roles. Yeah, if she, you've yeah, ever seen her in Constantine. That, exactly. Yeah. The archangel. Yeah. I like it. I like their bald head. Yeah. I wanted to know why she had scars. Yeah. Stuff. I wish they would have done like a, maybe a little bit, but I guess you don't need it to know like about her. Well, I mean, they, they revealed that she had been through doing the, you know, the Dark Zone stuff. Yeah, like sure. an origin story kind of because like yeah. they were like just, nobody knows shit about her. That's, you know, but that's, that works. Well, like the movie that. wasn't about her though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it works because like she's this all like powerful person. Yeah. Like it makes sense. Not everyone's she's, gonna know everything. She's about the her. Morpheus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plus, I think if it was, the movie was already like almost two hours long. It was two. Yeah. But some parts of it felt a little rushed to me. Almost two hours. The movie yeah, this, felt this, completely quick. The movie was like struggling whether or not it wanted to be an origin story or not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can see that. Because I mean, he he started training like fifteen minutes into the movie. 
That's true. He got the he got into the car wreck like in ten minute mark. Really quickly. Yeah. yeah. Like, wait way too quick. Um I don't know. I don't think they should have drug out his fancy lifestyle too much. They kinda established who he was. To. They were like, he's just an yeah. asshole yeah. doctor. I was yeah. about to say, I got he was a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. established that well. They were like, All right, he's a douche, nobody really likes him, but this one chick is in love with him, but she's yeah. you know, can't get away from him because yeah, she was that. wasted. Yeah. But what they needed was like a longer training montage. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. I don't yeah. buy the timeline. Yeah, that was a little six weird. months. I don't think in. it was just but that's why they. Uh, uh, it seemed to me like a long. No, it was a. It, the directors already said it was about a year. Well, that's why they addressed the the oh, astral yeah. projection, studying sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, so he was making the most out of his time. Yeah, he was studying while he was like nonstop while he was awake while he was asleep. Well, he was, and yeah. the, the photographic memory makes. But a I, lot I didn't buy his him being able to uh, to stand up to the to the villain so easily. I you know what you know, yeah I, I, oh no as that. Went on because I kept, we had. I was sorry. thinking the same thing. Like, what? There's he's killed clearly everyone else. How is he going? But I feel like they put in just enough for him to just barely get by. He's not fighting. He's fleeing the whole time. Yeah, but that's the but, thing. He never actually beat them. He I just was, like. Yeah, that's what just, I was gonna say. He like, he lost enough times to annoy the guy. That's yeah, what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. he you know he learned the, one thing. The guardian that, that, of the sanctum Santorum got taken out in five seconds. He had the cape though. Yeah, think yeah, think about the it. The cape. cape did a lot of the ass kicking for him. Yeah, the the cape yeah. saved in one his scene. Ass he he defended himself more often than anything. Yeah, I just look. It was a little. It was skirting the edge on yeah. on, on me buying he, how. That's why the, I felt like that was the point because he's just yeah. like I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just getting lucky basically. Yeah, he's he, I still got stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Even the end when he takes on like the uh, the mamu dormamu dormamu Dormammu. 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 He had it was basically the necklace that helped him. Yeah. The, yeah, 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 I was just waiting for him to that say good once burn yeah. the cinder. I was just waiting for him just to, to me, say it once for me, Dora Mama. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> when he started using the Eye of Agamotto, I was like, this is his Naruto moment where he is that one move that's oh, going to help yeah, him yeah, like, yeah, way yeah, later. Yeah. He yeah. learned a super advanced move right off the bat, mm-hmm. and it's going to help him like for the rest of his life. The yeah. Naruto yeah. moment. I yeah. love that. Shadow Club, Shadow bro. Club. <laughs> <But> <laughs> How do you know that? Shadow Club and Jutsu. <laughs> but Ryan raises a good point of like, uh, I, I get the studying. I get how you could memorize all that information really quickly with an eidetic memory. Yeah. yeah, but but it was she was like study and practice. Six months of practice. Yeah, and, and she they made a point of him saying, you know, how did you become a doctor? And he said, study and practice years of it. Yeah. Years. And then the director comes around and says, well, it, it was six months. Yeah, to become like the I, greatest magician. Yeah, like yeah. I can get the the memorizing of all the stuff, yeah. but the application of it because well, we was, had no prior scenes besides him doing a quick fight with Mordo. Yeah, which didn't really amount to much. We we yeah. didn't have any yeah. prior I think experience his, with him. His physical fights they probably didn't show that much, but once the ancient one get, showed him the mirror place, mm-hmm. I kind of imagine that. That type of guy, he would spend all his time there. He's not doing nothing else. Yeah, he's not doing he would just sit there and practice and practice. But isn't everybody else there doing the same thing? I don't know. I would think so. <laughs> yeah, I, but like, I feel say. like he has so. the the what is that the urge to do it more. I mean, he's the one. You know. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah, he's he, freaking Neo. He's Neo. <laughs> he is. But he learned that that's that sort of time magic. So he could have just stopped time and spent that time training. Well, well he had to have the 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 eye of Agamotto to do that, and he didn't have it the whole time. Mm. I did. Uh, I did appreciate the di- uh, the director was really proud of his third act because it was a final battle with the villain where the city was putting itself back together instead yeah. of being torn apart. Mm-hmm. That and was then, awesome. Man. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh yeah, when he was getting like sucked into the buildings and shit randomly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, everything's mm-hmm. going backwards, and they're the only people going forward and moving yeah. around independently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, special effects amazing. were amazing. He oh, just shows so up. He's like, "Oh, everything's yeah. already destroyed." They're like, nope. Hold on. <laughs> I did kind of want to see a little bit of the bat of the uh, Wong fighting Casillas. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see much of Wong in this movie, but it was cool to see that he's not dead anymore. Like from that, mm-hmm. yeah, I did like how they brought him back to life. And yeah, he's like, what? He's like, I know, I know. No, keep going, keep doing it. <laughs> he's like, don't stop now. <laughs> there were a couple of moments in the movie where, because uh, you know, in most movies they have like those those one liners that are just supposed to be like quick off the hand. Uh, off the cuff, yeah, off the cuff. yeah, mm-hmm. off the cuff remarks that it's supposed to be like really funny, and they would because the movie didn't really feel like a Marvel movie no. up until they they did those those, mm-hmm. those little jokes, and, the and little I was like, oh yeah, things. it's a Marvel movie. Yeah. For me, a lot of them didn't land. Yeah, they weren't that funny to they, me. There wasn't a very. I think that like 
it, yeah, some of them weren't as funny, but no one else in the movie ever laughed at them either, which to me kind of made it a little funny. It was like, yeah. okay, he's yeah. the, he thinks he's funnier than he is. That's I, a good point. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's the, the the point I got from it, actually. Yeah. It's, I, I got the feel of like he's trying to be cunning and witting, and everyone's just everyone's, like... Stop it, man. Shut, shut up. Your, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Stop. Like what that guy's like, every, everyone used to laugh at my jokes. And he's like, did they work for you? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they did that on purpose. Yeah. Like his jokes weren't supposed yeah. to be funny. They he's were not Tony to be... Stark, who's naturally funny. He's just yeah. like, a guy who thinks he's as funny as him. But you <laughs> could feel like it was like the, the tone of the movie. Like that's when I was like, I remembered that it was a Marvel movie, I guess. Oh, okay. Because before that, I was like, it doesn't feel like a Marvel movie at all. No, it feels different. It feels new especially that tripped out scene oh like man during his first awakening into oh, the yeah. other realms oh yeah where you oh, basically so saw trippy. dormammu yeah, yeah so trippy i, like I the was hands. like this is amazing visual the hand yeah. thing that was all the hands that were oh his hands growing, hands growing yeah, hands growing yeah, hands yeah, yeah. maggie oh, saw that she's like no <laughs> <laughs> it like bothered her so much yeah. it was <laughs> not that. not visually okay no <laughs> i was just like yeah, i don't like this <laughs> but the whole time i wish i was doing drugs i, I was like this I looked at that and I told Tom, I was like, this would be a mushroom movie. Honestly. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah. That's, that's I would the scene it. where I decided, no, it would not be. <laughs> <laughs> that's the exact scene where I was like, no, no. Speaking of like the visuals for that, like when it first started and the ancient one is fighting Cassilis uh-huh. and yeah. she puts everyone in the mirror thing and they jump on the wall. Mm-hmm. Like to me, the CGI looked real bad when she jumped on the wall and I was like, oh man. Is this going to be everything like this? I'm already kind of pulled out just a little bit because the CGI was really bad. And then it never disappointed again. Yeah. And I felt really, like, good about that. Yeah, the first one was a little blocky. Yeah, it was a little just, uh, like, stretchy. Like, it looked too fake. Mm -hmm. But then after that, it never happened again. And everything looked so amazing. I just want to rewatch, like, all those running scenes. (laughs) The the Inception-heavy, like, second battle. Oh, the, the in the, the city, building. yeah. In the did city. you watch it in 3D or in I did. regular? No, I watched it in regular. Oh, That's no, why 3D. I think it did that. 3D was amazing. Because I think it. it was filmed for 3D. Because I watched it in 3D too, and I didn't notice the special effects do anything weird. That, like that was that. only like the first two minutes. Yeah. And never, like, I never saw it again. Because I, I noticed a lot of, of movies like that when they're made, like, you should watch this in 3D, and mm-hmm. then you watch it and it's Man. not 3D. You can see those little things that Ant-Man. are made to be like in oh, your yeah. face. But since they're not in your face, they look weird. Well, I, yeah. I saw it in 3D, and like, I guess I didn't see it as bad as one, but I could see how like the first scene, like, I wasn't like, oh man, this is gonna be shit. But I was like, well, maybe my eyes were adjusting because like I have to wear like because putting them over my glasses, I don't have contacts, so I have to put the 3D glasses on top of my glasses. And That's it what I did. Fucking sucks. Does it take? Do you have that adjustment period? No. Like for me, I have to be like, like try to adjust them. Like no, no, move them backwards, forwards. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess there's that. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I'm just not used to having glasses yet because I just got them. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, 3D for me always fades into the background after an hour. Yeah, I forget about <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, you just, I don't even notice it. Done. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I did see it in the, the D Box uh, theater, though. So that was pretty interesting. Ooh. What's that? I kept forgetting about it. It's the seat that reacts with the, the movie. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Oh. So I kept forgetting Ooh. about it. So, like, there's scenes where they're talking and it's completely still, and you're just like watching the movie and you're engaged in the conversation. And an action scene will come up, and then something will fly by. by <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Nice. I had the opposite yeah. where we went to the Cinemark at um, Memorial, uh-huh. and they were, have those. What, the screen shook? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the what? I said, did the screen shake? No. <laughs> that is the opposite. <laughs> they, had the, um, they had recliners now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Instead of the regular chairs, like full Ooh. recliners. So yeah. I was just like super comfortable the whole yeah. time. Most it's, movie theaters like that now. So they cost a damn much. Mm-hmm. That's how I saw oh, Star Wars. It was beautiful. Yeah, like wait the the seat the not cheaper, but like the prices were the same. What was the ticket price? Because I feel like maybe I just blanked out and I was looking up ticket prices yesterday, and I was like, when did tickets become so expensive? 20? Mine was expensive. Something. Mine was like eighteen bucks. Yeah, like I saw the three D one. It was like I'm X three D. I'm X three D is eighteen fifty. I was like, fuck. Wait, eighteen for two or eighteen for one? For no, two. for one, dude. No, for one. Was it for one? For one for the IMAX three D. Oh, yeah, oh, is, no. is for one. Oh, no, I paid well, the D box 3D, but yeah, it was it was eighteen bucks. Yep, yeah. I paid twenty bucks for two. That's fine. Oh yeah, because you just went to Cinemark. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just went to the, the yeah, normal regular. ones are like ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have yeah. they no. always been ten dollars? No, no. Yeah, been like ten dollars was always been I a standard. I pay like five fifty, six fifty going to Cinemark. 
Usually. Oh, at Cinema. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go to, I usually AMC's go to like Edwards or something. Yeah, Edwards or AMC. That's yeah, right, that's right. like 10 bucks. Nine something, usually. I use my school ID. <laughs> I got <it> 50. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, I never dude, used I that when I had that. it. <laughs> dude, yep. That was my main reason for getting it. I was like, I'm going to get discounts wherever I can. <laughs> I still use mine now. <laughs> <laughs> I've told them, I'm like, I graduated, but I have it. And people look at me and they're like, yeah, fine. <laughs> Whatever, you did it. <laughs> Mine doesn't have a date, so it doesn't there matter. Yeah. <laughs> Infinity Stone, though. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I think we all knew it. They yeah. Did, right? They yeah. just dropped the hint like that. You're carrying around an Infinity Stone. Oh, yeah. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What's that? <laughs> you have much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, they didn't even try to hide it. They're like, people know now. I yeah. thought they were going to do a, like, uh, give him a little, like, info about it. No. Nope. Like, nah. Nothing. It's That's just, fine. It's the, That's it's fine. The gem of time. Yeah. But, time, time gem. How many are we at now? Is that four? Is that four? Is it four? I think Mind four. Stone. I was time. trying to count yesterday. Uh, actually, well, actually, no. Um, we have Vision. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, his eye. Is my, that's the mind one, right? The one that was inside. No, the eye of Agamotto. Mogo? Mogo? Oh, no, no. I, I'm at the Vision. That's the mind. The Vision is the, the mind. mind. Yeah. 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 Mind yeah. People think that um, Heimdall's eyes are stone. Oh, what? Yeah. Interesting. interesting. So the eyes? That's because be the, the, uh, the thing in his staff. The stone in his... That's the one in... I think it's vision. his eyes. Because he oh. has... I mean, he's able to see in, like... Or maybe the staff gives An infinite amount of distance. Yeah, I think it's the staff that gives... Or mm. Yeah, I think that's what gives him the... Uh, oh, okay, maybe then, yeah. Because they have the, to... Uh, they're probably going to start the next item, item you Thor. This plus two yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, and also, a lot of Doctor Strange's more cool shit's going to happen in Thor. That's what I think. Yeah. As they're yeah. looking for Odin. Yeah. yeah. I love the, the, the after credit where Thor was like, so Earth has wizards now. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, giant beer mug. You want tea? No. I drink other things. Giant mug of beer. Yeah, that was too like, that comical was to me. I was like, that's fucking amazing. That's good because Dr. Strange was like, no tea? Bam. He's like, huh. well, all right then. Yeah. He drinks it down and he's all like... <laughs> Has anybody yes. seen the? Uh, I like whole... this. I will hang out with you. That sir. was really yeah. good, like subtle comedy. I like this. Yeah. Have you ever seen the whole Thor Hulk thing? Like what they were doing during Civil War? Oh yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I, I still haven't watched. That. Wait, what? I love that. Oh man, it's a little short. Yeah, and it's yeah. just Thor being hysterical. Actually, oh the yeah, whole time. I haven't seen that one. No. It's great. That last final scene made me think of how great that movie's going to be because of Taika Waititi. Yeah, that it's guy awesome. is amazing. Oh, yeah. Do you know, fun fact, he was in Green Lantern. Taika Waititi was in Green Lantern? Oh, was he? He was uh, his buddy in the movie. Green La- Hal Jordan's buddy. What? His friend. I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I tried All to I remember is a, a really bad Lantern. super suit from Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Taika Waititi don't like... make it green. <laughs> you have to see uh, What We Do in the Shadows. It's a movie he made with uh, one of the Flight of the Concords guys. And some other people. I oh yeah, I think I've heard of that. It one. just it's a I documentary sure about like vampires. <gasps> I've seen today. that one. Yes, they're it's, all living in a flat. They live in it's yeah, they awesome. live in a house. They're just like these I old vampires. It. It's so funny. Like it's one what of the best it, movies yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> I remember seeing him in something, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, dude, he's not in it. He directed it. No, but what is he in though? Because he's uh, done acting uh, before, right? Yeah, I don't know actually. I got that's how I found out about him from that movie. I thought he is in that movie though, mm. or did he just direct it? I could have sworn he just directed it. I could be wrong. I haven't seen it, so yeah, <laughs> just find out for yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. right here. Just Google it. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, fight scenes. There were there was a beginning one that was good. There was that running fight scene towards the end, in the middle, with him. Oh or yeah, 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 in the city, oh. the Inception the city. one. Yeah. Um, the end. The end was cool. The end was the best one for me. I yeah. feel like I'm missing a fight scene. The the the, the astral the projection. One the the astral projection. That's the one I wanted to get to. Uh, Man, that oh, was so yeah. Cool. When whenever they like fight over and they like stumble over his body and she's trying to operate him and she gets yeah, pushed back. Yes. Mm. Man, that whole like that whole thing just blew my mind. It was so cool. Just seeing them flying around as she's just doing her thing. They barely like slightly move things. Yes. Man, that was good. I just feel like this movie was just like, it went too quick. I wanted more. Yeah. But it was two hours. Like, we were, me and Maggie were saying that. It wasn't quite two hours. It was about an hour and 50 minutes. 
I could have sworn it was two hours. Exactly. Pretty because the whole runtime is exactly. hour fifty five minutes. Yeah, it was which, close. So that's with it credits. Wasn't. It's like exactly uh, two hours, forty five uh, minutes. So it's one of the shorter Marvel movies. Is it shorter? If it's not fully two hours, if you're including credits. Oh, I thought the other ones were like an hour. No, oh no, yeah, you're right. Under twenty. Most minutes. of them have been over two hours. Yeah, barely. Man, that that cool like prison suit thing that he threw at him. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> the artifacts are like so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're like they could be anything. Anything that they want them to be, they could just make up some shit. I like the reference to I don't know I'm sure you caught this, right? When Mordo had the staff, mm-hmm. he said it powered the living tribunal. Oh, that was awesome. That was I don't know the cool. reference. <laughs> uh, the living tribunal I know I know that that's a thing, but I yeah. don't I He's like specific. the most powerful being yeah. next to God. Okay. So that the, it's weird that this staff like power has taken power from him. I guess I don't know. They didn't really explain the staff too much, but they just kind of threw that in, and that was really cool to see. Because now you're alluding to all the all of space, like all that yeah. weird stuff that's that can come in later on, mm-hmm. and probably will. Planet Hulk. Oh yes, <laughs> totally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna not gonna say anything. <laughs> um, also known as Thor three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna um, be like a good buddy cop movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, that's awesome. That's gonna have the Grandmaster in there. So then you're you're back into Elders of the Universe <laughs> stuff. So this villain was wasted. It was another underwhelming one, I think. Yep. You know what? Uh, yeah. Like there was nothing memorable about him except his eyes. His eyes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Which I would it wasn't to see special Dormammu. to him because all his followers had it as well. Yeah. yeah it was just <laughs> it was a side effect of using the dark dimension. Yeah, yeah, dem dem Dormammu, Dormammu, Dormammu. Yeah. Like I, that would have been like really cool, but like it was what they did with him wasn't spectacular. Wait, I think what, what they did with about? him was Casalius? perfect. Huh? You talking about Casalius? Or no, no, when he actually faced Dormammu. I'm talking about. No, yeah, I'm ta- yeah, Casalius yeah. is pretty boring, and like, yeah. uh, but Dormammu would have been really cool, but they didn't use him. I don't know. I thought Dormammu was... Was, was like he murdered him like three times throughout the whole movie, pretty much. He just somehow just found a way to not die. Who I like because he's a doctor. doctor. I mean, because this was pretty cool uh, in the sense that, like, even though he wasn't doing too much, I don't know. I, I just I, I Mads Mikkelsen of, was like really in the character. Oh, I hate that they wasted Mads Mikkelsen on this. Game. He could have been something like, you know, more prominent. But I don't know, I yeah, I don't feel like that he had that. Mads Mikkelsen. I he just didn't do much. That's the thing. He didn't. He, that's the problem. He didn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. He gave me the uh, the vibe of like one of those like eighties fantasy TV show villains. Like mm. he was a villain on Highlander. <laughs> 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 like he didn't give me that that wow. that like modern day Marvel like I'm all powerful fucking awesomeness. Yeah, he's just like it was an underwhelming TV villain for me. Like he might have been a Power Rangers villain. He's the setup. To yeah, it was another like villains. dark elf. You know, sort of just like it was just bland. You know, yeah. yeah. Cause most of his abilities, all, like you were saying, or like you were saying, uh, all of his followers had them, like yeah, the yeah. glass shards or something like that. Yeah. They all had them. There was nothing special about him yeah. in that respect. And then, well, I think the idea was Dormammu was the uh, the villain, and he imbued them with these powers. So they all have the same powers because they've been imbued with them from this higher power. Yeah, but that that basically makes the whole movie like uh, Doctor Strange fighting minions. Yeah, that's yeah. essentially what it was because uh, yeah, because I mean the yeah. big bad is over there. And but then they, the big bad is like it's just a loop. There was no fight, fight. It was you know. It didn't, just, they didn't I really love that. There's scene, a lot actually. of layers to my feelings with the Dormammu scene. Yeah, because I love it and hate some things. Which I hate the um how he looked. For oh, one thing, I yeah. read a cool thing about that yesterday. I know, and I like that okay. concept. But and I like the scene as well. well tell, what he does. Tell the concept then. Um. Dormammu was represented as like a twisted reverse image of Strange in this movie. So Benedict actually did the facial oh. acting for the and voice for Dormammu. I did not know that. Which is cool. I still don't like how he looked though. Mm. He was like a rainbow faced. I like Bing. Dormammu in the comics. He, oh yeah, he, it, like, Flame. like I, Flame head. I immediately yeah. like when I saw him. And I was watching the scene. The scene's brilliant, and I like what they did with the time loop. But yeah. I was getting huge Galactus parallax vibes from. Yeah, like, I thought that's. I thought that's what like because in having no knowledge from the comics before, 
the especially like with, when I saw Guardians of the Galaxy and they're mining the head of like an ancient being. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like Dormammu, uh, that guy, Galactus. They're all like the kind of same thing, like Titans or I'm not sure what it is. Oh, Dormammu is just a demon from that dark dimension. He's kind so of it's not like related a, to he's Galactus like a devil like character. So it's not related to Galactus or those no. big beings. Or, no, uh, I thought uh, the way he looked was okay after I read this thing that someone said that in his dimension he didn't need maybe a form so he was able to project himself just as whatever like an opposite of strange yeah I don't know it was still... he, could, he could do whatever he wanted in that because his face did look a little like odd to me but then maybe like when they see him in person later hopefully he'll have his like just cool flame face flame face yeah that's what I'm hoping for yeah. I just want to see flame face <laughs> like you know the super way he garb. looks in like yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Exactly. That's you know? the perfect Dormammu I have in my head. He's just a demonic, look, even more demonic looking ghost right Yeah. Mm. I that, saw a, a, a Galactus. I thought I heard a Galactus reference mm. when Cassilis was like talking about Dormammu when he was stuck in the in that binds. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he was like, he's not the true devourer of worlds. Ooh. I was like, oh, is that, a, is that a Galactus reference? Yeah, that sounds like it. I was like, because that's, that's awesome. <laughs> With the, the whole flame head thing, I think one of the reasons they might have avoided that is because obviously it was as big as Marvel has gotten right now. You get a lot of people that aren't familiar with the source material. Mm-hmm. So if he had a flame head, people are like, like people who don't know anything about comics or anything ghost like Rider. that. Like, oh, oh my God, no. it's a giant ghost rider. Giant ghost rider. You get a whole big Nick cage. <laughs> <laughs> There's no skull. This movie's going to suck. Yeah. You know what? Their fight. I'm glad it wasn't like a fight. Yeah. Cause he wouldn't have won. There That's was no true. way. That was, yeah. 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 He, he didn't had even try to, out- to fight him. He's like, I know there's no fucking way. Yeah, he had so. to outsmart him because even at the end, he's not the sorcerer supreme. Nope. Yeah, no. which is great. I love that that he didn't just immediately jump to, I'm the best. No, yeah, he learned one thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he was, was even struggling. <laughs> yeah, he, even then he was like, I don't know how to use this. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'd love to see him use the whip though. Yeah. Man, that was so cool. He's kind of uh, half assed. Like, a lot of yeah, a lot of sparks in this movie. Yeah. Everything had sparks. Everything had sparks. <laughs> but it was cool. Like, yeah, the, like, struggle as he's trying to, like, pull it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. You can see the, like, tss, tss, tss. Yeah, you can really like see, like, he's really trying. He's like, starting, but he's yeah. not amazing at this, which I'm glad. You can see that struggle. When yeah. he put, has his two shields and one of them just kind of flickers out, and he's like, yeah. oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that his hands never healed. Because at first I thought well, they not were... supposed to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, like, I thought, like... Again, not having any knowledge of the source, I thought they were going to heal at the end. Mm-hmm. He's going to be like, yeah, I'm all better now. <laughs> but like, I like that he, there's still something wrong with him. Because back to like his old personality of being perfect, if his hands did go back, he probably just would have left. That's why he has that like realization with the ancient one at the end. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you probably could. I mean, that's what this other guy did. Yeah, but, and look what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> the credit scene when right? he just like, yeah. took his power away. I was like, you motherfucker. Too many <laughs> sorcerers in the world. I didn't understand that. Like in The, the number of, of sorcerers is too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> too damn high. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Oh, that's so perfect. <laughs> you know what? I, you, I think Marvel has those problems of like villains turning bad for no reason too quickly. Yeah. But I, I like uh, Mordo's kind of yeah. turn because he yeah. felt... At the beginning, he's so like you don't even question the ancient one. She, you don't, you respect Devout. her and all that. And then after he finds this stuff out, he's broken from it. Like he's yeah. really upset. Yeah. He's even slightly reluctant to go help at the end, and then mm-hmm. he does. And then after that, he's like, "No, I can't, I can't do it." Well, and he talks about like his dedication to it because like the reason oh, he yeah. went to learn the stuff was for revenge, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, to yeah, he said something about his enemies to yeah, take yeah. out his to enemies. But to enemies. be so dedicated, like giving up revenge is not something that's easy. And so yeah. like he he must have gone like balls deep <laughs> into the commitment for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and like for somebody like I guess if you've ever met somebody who's been addicted to drugs but then has found Jesus, mm-hmm. they're super into it. And or I guess, they just, you know, rehab. Rehab, yeah, Re- <laughs> yeah, but like, but, too. but you know, so like, like if when when people get off of like one addiction and they go into like something religious, they go really into it. <laughs> it's and just they, another addiction. Yeah, and they're mm-hmm. equally as strong about that, like the the moral codes that they uh, go by. Yeah. yeah, so I can see where he's like, no, this is the code. I don't mm-hmm. care if she yeah. said it's okay or if some other people are like it's okay to bend the rules. He's like, no, this is what I'm sticking to. Now. This is what I live by. This is what changed who I am. So this yeah. is what I stick to. Yeah. So I can I can see him turning like that. Yeah, that makes then, sense. Then the way to win is Doctor Strange does this 
kind of the same thing. And he's he breaks just, the rules. Yeah, he's not cool with it. And he just and he shrugs it off like, you know, hey, sometimes yeah. you got to break the rules. And he's like, no, that's why there's rules. <laughs> and even then, like Wong at the end, he's like, no, yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, why is everyone cool with this? Ima- yeah, imagine everyone that's on your side or believe the same as you is all of a sudden changing and you yeah. accept you and you're like, no, it doesn't make sense and yeah. you're against it. Yep. So you're going to go do your own thing. I can see that. So yeah. So his like, he'll come back later and it'll be fine. As long as they don't just kill him quickly. Yeah. You know, a character is going to be interesting. Hmm. Cloak of levitation. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a really interesting little quirky side character for I Benedict kept Cumberbatch. Of it as like a, the, the magic carpet from Aladdin. That oh, is exactly yeah, what I was thinking of. Yeah. Exactly what it is. With a much. tiny bit less personality, but yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it, he was pretty it, sassy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tiny. <laughs> tiny. When it's like pulling him, he's like, no, use this. Yeah, use this. yeah. He's trying to go a different direction. He's it's like, just the like axe. pulling the on axe. him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, stay right. Look, that thing. <laughs> He's like, no, stupid. That's not going to work. <laughs> He's magic. Stupid sorcerer. You swing an axe at a magic guy, you dumbass. <laughs> They're all surprised. The cloak of levitation. There was shows a, you. There was more hand to hand combat in this movie that I thought we were going to get. There was a lot of hand to hand combat. Yeah. Surprise. Was magical. But which was see magical Iron Fist, thing. which man. was great. Um, but I did want to see more magical use. Yeah, a lot of it seems like the basics. A lot of it, we just saw the, the they, stabby things and the spark. They whips. just stabby blew things. their entire CGI budget on like three scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did. The last they one, mainly. They the fuck out of like three parts of that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just like, everything they don't have Leo money. And twisting over itself and reforming, and there's a window inside of a window, inside of a window, on top of a window, around of a window, and now it's on top of this guy, and it's like, what is going on? Oh, yeah, they <laughs> fell on him. That's awesome. What's funny is, like, because uh, I remember, I've watched um, the movie Paprika. It's like an anime movie, where Inception borrowed a lot of its stuff from that, a lot of the visual effects. Like, some of the scenes, like, where she touches the the glass and it just shatters of the, the city, yeah. that's a scene-for-scene scene shot of mm. Paprika. But then watching Doctor Strange, I'm like, it's like Inception took Paprika and to put it on steroids. <laughs> and then Doctor Strange took Inception and put even more steroids into yeah, it. Yeah. And so it's like just escalating. And then the next movie is just going to be nothing but like looking into a kaleidoscope. <laughs> yeah, that scene where they were like, when he was like twisting the dimension and making them fall over on the buildings when they were trying to run up them and they kept falling oh, over yeah. and, and falling further down and stuff like that. That was like, there's so much Inception in this. That hotel scene. Oh, where they're all yeah. trying to go through the hallways, but there's like the whole it's world turning. spinning oh, and twisting yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Joseph Gordon Levitt, it's like. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, he's like, no, 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 Trying that to was, hold on to a lampshade. That was a shit. great fight yeah. scene, by the way. Shame. It was. Yeah. But that's. But, yeah, the Doctor Strange was cool because he was able to manipulate the surroundings as they're trying to like escape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Change from like, desert you're to, get to that portal. To no, uh, now that it. portal is above you. Oh, how mm-hmm. that would suck to be like, you're in a desert, you're like, that's exactly oh, yeah. what she yeah. looked like. She was like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, because yeah. like, the other guy ended up in the jungle, but then he came back. But the lady in the desert was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, her door was closed. <laughs> I don't, this, that guy's didn't close then. That's why he came back. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. He got he, thrown um, out in there. He used his. Because he stole the, the oh, ring. The oh, the ring. ring. Yeah. The sling ring. Yeah. 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 I don't remember the name. He was like, what's so funny? You've lost your sling ring. And then you just jumps him from behind. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dope. So, I. Uh, I wanted to. I was curious, like, okay, then if they're getting power from the dark dimension and it makes them stronger, what other magic like does do normal people do? Because even like Mordo doesn't do anything too crazy, other than what Doctor Strange can kind of do. Yeah, he's just got I, a, he's got a stick and some cool boots. Yeah, he's got yeah. boots <laughs> of something. I don't. know. Everything's got. A I imagine long it's name. like the like it's like the Jedi. Like you have the regular force, but then the people who go to the dark side. It's just like super powerful, but then it's also evil. Because I noticed all the people, yes. <laughs> yeah. all the masters had like, and fighters had weapons, like physical weapons. Yeah. So I assume, okay, the, the other guys, are the bad guys are getting power. They can manifest weapons out of like the air and stuff. I think that's what it was, is he was talking about there's some power that's just too strong. Mm-hmm. So you have to imbue an item with it so that it mm. takes. Yeah. Oh, there you so go. So I think that's what it was. It's like, it's it's a form of like the, the dark dimension power. Mm-hmm. But you shouldn't hold on to it yourself because it'll like they do because they're already kind of corrupted and yeah. it's root, like it's yeah. all in their eyes. Yeah, and stuff. like so they might, can hold just 
air basically and turn it into a blade. Yeah, like they didn't explain the thing with the eyes, but it could be like some form of like necrosis, like their body can't handle it. So it's yeah. like I don't know if necrosis is the word. It's side effects of using like yeah. something bad. Yeah, like their yeah. body could just be like withering because of that. Like not just cool eye shadow. Well, because even <laughs> the ancient, when the ancient one used kind of her powers, she had the little sign pop into her head. Yeah, yeah. and then it disappeared. That yeah. might be the baldness. Like the the scars and stuff, like it's it's oh, it's like maybe. it's like cancer. Ooh. Maybe yeah, yeah, that could be it. That's a good point. It's cool. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I thought that's. I wanted to see like yeah, some like other magic like things. Yeah, because Doctor Strange he used magic to fight, but that's he bait the, he used his basics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I like the like the I guess accessories. I'm thinking of it from like like. Final Fantasy, <laughs> like, and like you, you equip this, you now have this power. You equip this, yeah. you now have this power. Mm-hmm. This is true. Yeah, this is kind of like not going back to the magic, but to, back to the very beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. His watches. Did anybody <gasps> oh else look God. at that and think like, "I want this life"? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was like, they're all spinning just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just for no reason. <laughs> and I like watches, so I was like looking at, it, I was like, like even the watch you got, you guys got me for like my graduation uh-huh. I don't want anything to happen to it so it's still there in the thing and I like look at it every once in a while I'm like beautiful and then I close it <laughs> <laughs> but like I looked at Maggie in the theater I was like man I should have been a doctor and she looked at me like yeah you should have been <laughs> Damn. I saw that I was like enough. man that beats the crap out of my little watch case <laughs> oh it's they don't so spin. cool <laughs> they just sit there that whole scene where he's putting on the tux and I'm like I need your life <laughs> <laughs> one day all this, you need to do is be a surgeon start listening to this shit <laughs> The the whole thing money. was add us on Facebook so that we can get a better following. <laughs> Just go to facebook.com slash shooting Lakes entertainment. Is add us on Facebook and go to our Patreon account and give us money so we can buy lots of watches and it should be any display cases. <laughs> Hashtag Doctor Strange Life. Yeah. Doctor Strange Life. We just Strange want, Life. Or just send us a spinny watch display case. <laughs> we will be perfectly Whoever happy with that. Somebody want to make that for us? Yeah. I'm down. Roll that. Patron for oh, life. That'd be really cool. <laughs> spinny watch, watch display case. Man, now I want it. I need to have watches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear watches. I just want that in my house so I can look at it. You buy cardboard watches just to put in there to watch them spin. Yeah. yeah. I just open the case. There's no watches. It's just the mechanism it's just that spins. <laughs> it's, just it. it's attached to like a little hamster on a wheel. <laughs> oh. You just put random <laughs> objects in there. They're my guitar picks. My nah, guitar picks. I put Pokemon badges in there. Oh. oh yeah. Genius. Oh, that's a whole new level of like rich nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Check out my badges. Not only did I get real replicas, but <laughs> I bought they spin. I bought a three thousand dollars spinny watch case for my twenty dollar <laughs> set of Pokemon replica badges, badges that I bought off Etsy. <laughs> when I was younger, replica badges? No, I uh, paid to make Pokemon. Then I paid gym leaders. <laughs> and then I beat the shit out of all of them. <laughs> paid them to lose. <laughs> and was, then I paid to have these badges, uh, these badges made, so that I could take them from them. Yeah. Yeah. When I was younger, we used to really want like the whole Pokemon thing to be real. So what we did in our neighborhood is we would, I guess, like somebody was one gym or the other, and we, my mom had a laminator because she's a teacher, so we would laminate cardboard paper and then cut them out into like badges. That's pretty smart for being like a kid. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was not looking back at it, I'm like, oh, we were sad children. No, that's creative. See, that's fun. I lived done way the, worse. <laughs> I lived in the hood, and we did that with wrestling belts. And then we had backyard wrestling leagues, and we would have neighborhood champions that would walk around with this cardboard championship belt that we... Nice. What the fuck on. is wrong with that kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were uh, totally about it too, and we are probably fucked up, bodied adults now because of it. I was just thinking that because I remember like that one time when me and Gerson were in high school, we were doing it, and we forgot that we were right next to the sidewalk, and I like threw him onto the sidewalk. Uh huh. He's not happy about that. <laughs> you know, one child hits. <laughs> No, they sound violent. <laughs> Not no kids I, in my no, you know in what? my area were into these things. They just played basketball. <laughs> we played basketball too all the time. Full contact basketball all yeah. the time. Did you not play basketball? I played it, and then after a while, I was like, guys, I just want to play Pokemon. And they're like, basketball is life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> You don't even got Jordans. I'm like, oh. No, we had them shacks. I got, I got Hakeem's. I had Hakeem's. I had Hakeem Olajuwon's. Yes, I also had Hakeem Olajuwon's. Uh, they were the Walmart ones. They're great, nice. though. <laughs> Foot Locker had, uh, had uh, Jordans and 
Payless had shacks. Payless had shacks. <laughs> Payless and Academy had shacks, and Walmart had Hakeem's. <laughs> I hated my shacks because, like, I looked at him and it was just like, because Jordan, he was like in the thing, but Shax, it was just him standing, like putting Gone. it in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Walmart. It was Kmart. Kmart, oh, Kmart had oh, Hakeem's. <laughs> Back when they didn't even have Kmart's anymore. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's how cheap Hakeem's were. Didn't we find Shaq still at Academy? Shaq, yeah, Academy still has. Damien has a pair of Shaq's. <laughs> My nice. son has a pair of Shaq's. <laughs> That's awesome. He tore them up because they're <laughs> shitty shoes. <laughs> <laughs> They have the they have the mouth flappy thing going right now. Oh, nice. yeah! I want some Shack soda. Shack soda is pretty awesome. <laughs> I had it taste just like a creamsicle. Mm. <laughs> I need this in my life. <laughs> We've talked but about a lot of things that we just need to go get. Yeah, yeah. Are we I think we're just starting to get hungry, and we stopped thinking about Doctor Strange altogether. Doctor Strange is what we're here to talk about. Oh though. yeah, yeah. You're right. He had gloves on. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the end. At the end, he had gloves. <laughs> Because his hands are all fucked up yeah. in the experimental surgery after experimental surgery. Seven surgeries. Oh, he went through all of his money. His hands look disgusting. He <laughs> spent all of his money on surgeries for his hands, and yeah. it all failed. Yeah. I just like whenever he, he woke up, and he was just like, what did you do? Yeah. <laughs> Staring at his hands. Oh, he didn't care about the rest of his body at all. So insulting. It was. <laughs> it's the best that we could do. Nobody could have done better. I, I could, could have died. died. <laughs> oh, I, I really didn't want to hear him say it. <laughs> I also saw that line coming and yeah. retched at it. I was like, he's going to say it. He's in it. I get it. You're but, a fucking asshole. <laughs> it was just driving the point home. Like, you narcissistic piece of he's shit. Like, you really are a dick. I was like, is he really that much of a dick? He is. Yep, he's yeah, he is. Uh, him and Tony Stark are going to get along great. No, they're no, not. They're, no. Gonna, they're not, <laughs> not going to get along at all. Are they supposed to be superficial hair bros? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think him and uh, Banner are going to get along great <gasps> because he pisses him. off Tony. Doctors, mm, doctors. They're, yeah, they're both doctors. Doctor. Where Tony's a scientist, <laughs> you know. That's yeah. that. That was always the thing: is Banner versus Tony because Tony's a scientist and Banner's a doctor, so they're always like mm-hmm. butting heads. Does Tony have a doctorate? No, no, he's just. But a he's a genius. We could be a scientist with a doctor. He graduated MIT or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think he's just. He can like, have a doctorate. In some we'll give him a doctorate. Either way, <laughs> either way, he's, he's fully, you know, science. Blam. He's science certified by out. shooting blanks. Yep. <laughs> You're a doctor now. You're a doctor. <laughs> Go have surgery. Robert kid. Downey Jr. just gets a diploma in the mail. He's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> You're it's a doctor. Just a piece now, of paper, kid. A, a laminated piece of paper that says, Congratulations, you're a doctor. Is that shooting blanks at the top? It's all sticky. <laughs> but it has Tony Stark's name on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You just see him bust into a surgery room. What are you doing in here? It's okay. I'm a doctor. Hands him the certificate. And just... It says Tony Stark, not Robert Downey. <laughs> I am Tony Stark. I am Iron Man. <laughs> ACDC comes on. Roll credits. As soon as he kicks the ER door open. Now stop, Doctor. <laughs> That's the best part of the Iron Man movies. This is a random ACDC soundtrack that is all throughout everywhere. God, you know what? There's a funny, <laughs> there's a robot chicken parody of the Iron Man scene where he gets the original suit, uh-huh. except instead of Tony Stark, it's uh, Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> What? And as he breaks through the door, he yes, he starts yelling, "Go fuck yourself!" Go fuck yourself. But the background is playing this super shitty ACDC parody song. It sounds like it sounds like Back in Black, but like way out of tune. Got that? It's so good. It's fucking Seth Green. <laughs> Are we all stranged out? Oh man, we need to go. We need to go back to the theater and get some more strange. I don't know if we could do a two-hour podcast about an hour-long movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's yeah. true. I got yeah. nothing else. Oh, yeah, no, man. it was good. I, I enjoyed awesome. it. Yeah, it was hella good. I'm in the minority. I thought it was okay. I liked it. There were parts I that I thought were okay, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it. I felt it was like a fresh Marvel movie. Same. I just need to see Flame Face, and I'll be on board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, man. I like that. I put it up there with like Iron Man one for me. Yeah, I can see that. I Iron. really, really liked it. It was I like weird 
I've been waiting for weird stuff, and I yeah. got it, so I was yeah. really happy. I'm I'm a fan as far as in the Marvel universe, especially of the uh, the kind of sassy characters. So I liked him. Mm-hmm. You know, he's kind of a dick. Well, he's a lot of a dick, but <laughs> I, I like that sassiness. Yeah, sassy that's good. that's why I can't wait for Spider Man. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be Spider Man's gonna be my favorite Marvel movie of all time. I can already tell because that kid is amazing, and he's an accidental smartass, which is the he best is. thing ever. <laughs> he's just like. He's so so charming. Kid, have you ever been in a fight? She's not as much talking. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Let me just kick your ass then. <laughs> oh man, he really was whooping everyone's ass. He yeah, was. like as soon as he, cap. Go ahead. Oh, huh? I was gonna say as soon as he caught uh, the Winter Soldier's punch, yeah. I was just like, dude, yeah, man, yeah, like, <laughs> ev- like the Avengers just reached a whole new level, and Hawkeye just needs to retire. He's like, <laughs> he I, did retire. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He was off. <laughs> Although that stuff never no, sticks. Came... Like Tony retired, and then that yeah. Didn't stick. Yeah. Well, he came back in Civil War, like because he retired in um, oh, Age of Ultron. Yeah, Age but of that Tony. cost him pepper. I want to see. No, I'm not talking about Tony. I'm talking about Hawkeye. <laughs> Hawkeye uh, retired, and uh, yeah, yeah, he Age did Ultra, retire, yeah. and then they brought him back. Tony yeah. retired in Iron Man Three. Yeah. yeah, and then came back in Old Age of Ultron. I need to see the Hawkeye version of Tony Stark blowing up his suits and stuff, and Hawkeye just takes his bow and just. Places in the garbage. <laughs> no, I was like, with Hawkeye, he's like, he's done. trying to break it over his knee. He's like, I'm done. But as he tries to do it, it doesn't break. <laughs> he realizes it's like a made of a steel compound. Yeah. It breaks his leg. It's like, God damn it. He just goes, I'm done. <laughs> oh, my leg. Watching television at home. It's like, shit. <laughs> While his bow is sitting on the couch next to him, yeah. completely attacked, he's just like, I fucking hate you, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Retirement Hawkeye. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm Kramer. I'm Tom. Sometimes. I'm Ryan. I'm Bernard. And I'm Juan. Make sure to add us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. SoundCloud. Question mark? Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter at Commentators Pod. Cast. Our if you can find our MySpace. No, it's Commentators Pod. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was right. <laughs> if, if you can find our MySpace. Yeah, our oh, Zanga shit. profile. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have a my Zanga. Zanga. Okay, how about the yeah, Zanga? Zanga? Yeah, Zanga. Yeah. Oh my god! If you can find my Zanga from high school, you can add me on there. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Guys, I just made a say. secret Tumblr account for us. <laughs> Make sure to Did find you? us on Words with Friends. <laughs> we and just Snapchat. write dick in the thing. <laughs> uh, you could try our Pornhub account. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're across all platforms: Pornhub, RedTube, X Hamster. Yeah, all platforms. <laughs> <laughs> our videos. Our red tube is nothing but Juan's ass. <laughs> the titles are always five guys get fucked in a room. <laughs> well, it's just one guy in a room by himself and his ass. <laughs> Who was it that said that? Because we have like the new room that you set up. Who said that it looked like the casting couch? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> These couches are white, not black. Thank you. They were black. <laughs> and there's no desk in here. Oh, God. There's a table. It's close enough. Small da- table. <laughs> there's, a, there's a small desk like so table. I'm comfortable now. <laughs> we have like the D&D thing, so it's technically the dungeon. <laughs> this is a dungeon. I need to get a sign. This is a dungeon. Oh, man. This is one of those theme sites, isn't it? <laughs> there's even there's even coat hooks so you can hang your... <laughs> oh, fancy. <laughs> this is exactly like a casting couch room. Goodbye. 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 Sign off. <laughs>